Have we been watching a little too much sci-fi, Mr. Pope? Pope Francis announced in his daily mass that Catholicism should not be limited to planet Earth and that even aliens from outer space would have the right to be baptized. When Hollywood director Ridley Scott heard about it, he said, now there's an alien sequel I'd like to direct. The world's newest country, the People's Republic of Donetsk, was born after a vote in eastern Ukraine, which according to initial reports, had a 100.63% turnout. When reporters asked how could a democratic election end up with such numbers, the self-declared pro-Russian boss of Donetsk, Pavel Gubarev, said, a Russian election is like Islamic wine tasting. Both interesting concepts, never going to happen. India managed to hold the largest democratic election in history. To determine who will rule the country for the next five years, more than 550 million votes have to be counted, which, according to the Election Commission of India, should take no longer than four years, 11 months, and 28 days. Meanwhile, Europe voted for their favorite in the European Song Contest, which was won by Conchita Wurst, an Austrian bearded transvestite. After the competition, many conservative Russian public figures decided to shave their beards as a protest against Conchita. Many of them were also men. The Greek Supreme Court has given the go-ahead for the ultranationalist Golden Dawn Party to run in elections to the European Parliament this month. However, the PR manager of the party announced that none of the party's 18 MPs will be on the election ballot, as they are either in jail for murdering immigrants, pending trial for murdering immigrants, or in the process of murdering immigrants. And that's World in Color this week. We'll see you again next time.